You know, we all know the Sun Prairie community has some pretty strong ties to Groundhog Day, but I wanted to know a bit more. You know, how did this all come about and how did the city really get its fascination with the holiday? Take a look. It all started with a simple postcard. Well, the original artist, Ira Bennett, he uh, created not only the postcard that uh, got it all kicked off. This is an enlargement of it there. But he also created, this is a hand-painted envelope for folks to be able to send out their Groundhog Day greetings to uh, folks across the country. This is Sunshine Anderson. They're the museum programming and design coordinator at the Sun Prairie Historical Library and Museum. Oh, I am always pro early spring. And no one knows more about Wisconsin's rave over a rodent more than they do. Independence Wisconsin got Independence Day. Um, Port Washington got Washington's birthday. But Sun Prairie got Groundhog Day because of the importance of the sun in the tradition, as well as the uh, prairie being where we find groundhogs. And not only is the historical aspect important to so many in our community, the sentimental connection runs deep. It has been around for uh, over 75 years now. It is a tradition for a lot of families. They remember seeing the prognostication with grandma and grandpa or their parents. And if you somehow happen to share a birthday with the inquisitive creature, consider yourself lucky. If you are born on February 2nd, you are considered a part of the Groundhog Club. For a long time, you could actually mail into uh, the Chamber of Commerce in Sun Prairie and get a certificate that verified your groundhog status. So whether you've been watching Jimmy's weather predictions since the 40s or you're not totally sold on his forecasting skills, you can trust the fact that this loved land beaver will be in the hearts of many, even if we're in store for another six weeks of winter. Well, speaking of Jimmy the Groundhog, of course, he has his five minutes of fame in Sun Prairie on this day every year. But, you know, he actually lives four hours from here all the way up in the Northwoods. My counterpart, Rebecca Ribley, has more on that. It's probably the biggest tourist attraction um, in Hayward. The Wilderness Walk Zoo. We have wolves, coyotes, mountain lion. Um, we have a tiger. We have goats. And they have Jimmy the Groundhog. The furry rodent spends his days in an enclosure, sleeping most of the time. People can get pretty close. They can um, kind of see him in there, nestled up, sleeping if he's not randomly up walking around eating his food. Jonathan Bonney and his family bought the zoo almost three years ago when learning they had a celebrity on their hands was a big surprise. When we were purchasing, she'd thrown that out there like, hey, just so you know, He'll be bringing the groundhog down to Sun Prairie uh, for Groundhog's Day. When he questioned the previous owner. Like, yeah, you actually have the, the state groundhog for Wisconsin. They're like, oh my gosh. Groundhogs hibernate in the winter, so Jimmy has been busy getting his beauty rest. We wake him up early to do the, uh, the big event down there. Now it's his time to shine. 